If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Kang and Lee SPC to check out. With this card, guys, we're taking a look at someone... Four star skills, three star weak foot. This is, isn't this worse than the evil? I swear the evil, they actually gave him a, a good weak foot. Um, okay, so with this card, he's five foot eight, high medium work rates, four star skills, three star weak foot, explosive left footed player. I guess the reason why they made him so much lower is because they probably have an understanding that PSG is probably going to win most of their games, to be honest. Uh, three of the next four would give him a plus two for the inform upgrade, and then a plus two for the play styles upgrade if they win three of the next four, which, to be fair, they probably should in that league, right? Uh, play styles, he has dead ball, long ball pass, uh, first touch, as well as technical. EA, I don't really know what you guys are uh, doing in regards to a card like this because I don't see what the issue would be to just give him a four-star weak foot. I, I really don't. Like, why? Because you give him a marksman chemistry style... And then if he gets that double improvement, he's actually like a pretty decent card. Like, what would be the issue with that? For a card that would have better shooting, a four-star weak foot, you know? The pace would probably be improved by like, what is it, like a plus three or four? On the marksman still, you know? I don't know, they're weird. They're, they're a weird uh, weird company. But anyways, Hunter Chemistry Style, boosting the pace, boosting the shooting is probably going to be the most ideal situation. If he gets that double inform upgrade, this is actually a decent card to use in-game, guys, because... His dribbling stats for base card stats will also be improved while working with a lean body type while being 5 for 8, right? So a couple of different variables to work with. The other card that I was talking about was the Evolution card, which I think it might be from this. Yeah, it might be Power Shooter. It might be Power Shooter. He's got Centurion Striker, Triple Threat Attacker, Power Shooter, right? So the Evolutions is a 4-star, four 4-star four star in comparison to the other card that is not, right? So... A weird situation. I swear Giyu has Kang. Yeah, he does. I think I have to take him out. Anyways, um, a really cool South Korean team. My boy Giyu is actually playing uh, Evolutions the way it's intended. But yeah, with Kang and Lee, guys, we'll be using him as a, a left striker. We'll see how he plays there. Hopefully he is a beast. Oh, I tried to hit him with a quick uh, technical there, but couldn't do much. Yes, give him the jam, my dude, give him the jam. Oh, no way, dude, come on. There we go. Good strike, my boy. Ooh, give me that tree, fella. Oh, it was close, man. I should have waited a little bit more. Oh. Oh, I wanted to get the drag touch and then the uh, body faint right after. Ah, no, dude. Come on. Oh man, trying to work that little space there. I'm using a little bit of the L1 R1 dribbling. Oh, no real venom after the Coquetta. It's a little bit too far there. Like it's usually better inside the 18, but good to try it out. Why not? Oh, what just happened right there? 
And I got nothing. <laughs> What just happened right there? Did my own player like take it off? What just, bro, did that not even register like me doing the little trigger there? I don't even know. What was that? Oh, that one was a little bit better. Maybe if I greened it, he would actually hit the, the right side there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I like it. I like it. You got to give him that hunter for the shooting boost, man, and the pace, you know? You got to give it to him, bro. That's the shot we're looking for. Oh, I didn't expect that, man. I didn't expect that. If you actually got that chest off, because when you're putting that much power, you have to hit the green. Nice. Couple of small little sharp touches. You know what? With the base card stats being improved in the dribbling department because of him being a lean body type player, like that would definitely be a huge plus. Because right now, guys, the really like huge main things is those uh, those full upgrades that they can actually win all their games. I think it would be a really big deal for him, which is more of a chance, right? We have to see what they play afterwards, actually. There we go. I had to do the uh, angled run there with the L1. Nice. Ball roll into Trivella. Oh, almost, almost. The angle is a little bit weird, I guess, for him to hit a really good one. Is that going to be a red card? It's got to be, bro. Huh. And it's a penalty. Couldn't get the shot off, though, eh? White timed the goalie saved it. Let me see where he's at. My boy Lee Kagan. There he is. I'm going to go bottom left on this one. Let's go. Best play in the game, baby. Oh, uh. He was offside? No way. Oh, the side footed shots and pressure in front of him. He's going to screw up a little bit there for sure. Yeah, definitely needs those small little dribbling boosts for sure. Definitely requires it. Yeah, right. If I got a shot there with his right foot, that'd be amazing. That's his R1 dribbling, by the way. Oh, almost. Pretty close.
There we go, man. It had to be from a kickoff, you know what I'm saying, boys? It had to be from a kickoff. Oh, it's it's that one was too much at a 45 without it being a Trivella, you know, it was like a regular power strike. Not gonna work out as as well. But with a double in four, maybe he actually scores. Who knows? Ah, uh, nothing on the finesse. That's a little bit too close to the middle. It's not gonna have a nice loop on it, you know. Oh. No! Ah, oh, what a challenge. Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the Canyon Lee card. So, guys, here's the thing about this card, right? I, and I feel like they did this on purpose with the whole, like, three-star weak foot thing. I think EA has a pretty decent idea that PSG is probably going to win their next three games out of their four matches, right? So if I look in game as to what the the start is for this card, the start is going to be on November 24th. So November 24th, this guy, let's see the matches for PSG here. So they played against Monaco on November 24th, and they already got the first win. So I don't know if it counts like that. Will be eligible for upgrades from November 24th, 2023. So does this one count towards it? I'm a little bit curious about that. But here's the thing, man. I, I think that they can probably get three out of four wins. Okay? That's the first thing to mention. I do think that they can get three out of four wins, which is very important to mention. Because if this card gets all of the upgrades, right? Especially on the Hunter Chemistry style. So we're looking at a double inform. And then we're looking at mid-90s for shooting, perfect pace, dribbling going to be in a better area, and, you know, depending on how they format the card, you could actually potentially give him an, a Hawk chemistry style, right, because of the pace being boosted, the shooting being boosted, but now you can give him some physical to work with, even though he's a lean body type player, so if he gets all of the upgrades and he gets a double play style, like who knows what it could be, right, a finesse shot, outside foot shot, anything like that, it would definitely be a really good touch to this card. And I feel like that's why they gave him a three-star weak foot, because if he does get all the improvements, he'd probably be a really saucy card to work with in-game. The reactions is on the lower side, and so is the composure. But I think a key thing to work with when it comes to Kenyon Lee is the fact that he's a left-footed player on the left-hand side, right? There's not that many crazy left-footed players that give you very easy links to work with when it comes to the way that people have formatted their teams because he's a PSG player, right? There's a lot of things you could do with the PSG player. So in my opinion, the SBC is still decent, but it's a shame that they didn't give him a four-star weak foot. And I feel like they did that on purpose with the potential that the card could play like um, in the future. So one of those types of SBCs, if you get him, he's still going to perform really well. Honestly, even in the future, if you can use him as a left attacking mid in a 4-2-3-1, like that type of position, you could totally do that if you want to as well, especially with the potential upgrades that he does get in the future. But again, it is well formatted for, for those upgrades. It is. That double inform could be really sick. And then the two extra play styles could also be very good too. So it's just one of those cards. You know, one of those cards that the price is not too terrible. But I wish they gave him a four-star week. But it definitely would have been really cool. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.